Pardon me. You're the new companion. Seth, what's your name? I'm Garcelos. You wanted to ask me something? Do you think the consort will find her majesty? The rumor is she was taken by savages. Who knows where she... Savages? What do you mean? Primitives from some other land. Somehow they learn about us and they... But I thought we checked on their progress. I never heard of any primitives advanced enough to find Atlantis. Maybe a boatload here by chance. Some of them travel by sea, after all. Yes, I know, but you think they just happened to arrive when the Queen was passing by? And they recognized her and decided to steal her? Look, I'm just telling you the rumor I heard. And anyway, who else could it be? Do you know Agatha well? Agatha? She's the senior companion. She seems very loyal to Queen Rhea. Nobody more loyal than Agatha. She's a faithful follower of Amu. Is Mel Jans a friend of yours? We get on all right. Agatha doesn't like him, though. Why not? Well, his parents and grandparents were companions, so he had to follow tradition. But he can't wait to finish his service and join the consort's men. He prefers Sa'at to the goddess. I got the impression he also prefers the consort to her majesty. I wouldn't know about that. Seth! I heard the guards took you to the throne room. His Highness told me to be a good boy. What else did he say? Nothing much. Did you find anything? This earring. It's strange, but I have the feeling I've already seen one like it. I can't remember. It was a story somebody told me. Looks like my investigation ends here. You're probably right. But I think you should try to find out about that earring. I think it may mean something. Garcelos? He's lazy and he admires Meljans. Don't trust him. Guess who told the consort I'd left the palace? Yes, I know. Meljans. He dreams of becoming an officer in Creon's guard. Someone's bound to know what it means. You should try to find out, sir. But don't trust Meljans. I'm not here to make conversation. Don't bother me. Can't you see I'm on duty? You don't have any business in there. One moment. Yes, companion? Who are you? Sheena. What do you do here? I'm a servant, sir. My family has always served in the palace. Nobody tells us servants anything. I hope Her Majesty comes back to us soon. Some say His Highness will rule if the Queen isn't found. That can't be true. We've always had a Queen. Have you seen an earring like this before? No. It must be a man's. It's not the sort a woman would wear. 
You're Lascoit, aren't you? And you're Seth, the fearless investigator. I heard about your little escapade. Pity you didn't find out anything. I'm still working on it. You could get into trouble, my friend. You heard the orders. The orders are not to leave the palace. And asking a few innocent questions isn't exactly investigating. Well, you could be right. Some people think the consort wouldn't be all that unhappy if nobody investigated. But <laughs> I wouldn't advise you to say that to Meljance. You know Garcelos? Of course. He's a companion. Is Meljance a friend of yours? Why do you want to know? He seems to get on well with the consort. Well, he's never really liked being a companion. He'd rather be a guard. Agatha and Meljans don't like each other, do they? Well, that's uh, putting it a little mildly. Agatha's very attached to the companions. Meljans sees himself more as uh, a man of action. What chance does the consort have of finding the... I don't know. Somehow, I don't think the chances are too good. Why do you say that? Just uh, a feeling. Have you ever seen an earring like this? You're full of surprises. As a matter of fact, I have. Where? Who was wearing? Oh, I don't know if I ought to tell you. It's a taboo subject. I could be taking a risk by talking about it, especially to a loyal Queen's companion. Look, I'm not going to tell the consort about it. Now tell me. All right. During the time of the last consort, a group was uncovered, the consort's men and priests of Scythe. They called themselves the Sons of the Golden Ray. They wore earrings like the one you have. What did they do? They worshipped only the sun god. Only Sa'at? And what of Amu? They claimed Amu had usurped Sa'at's power, that Sa'at was the only true god. But the queen, she is the living symbol of the goddess. Exactly. The sons of the Golden Ray believed it was time to replace the queen. Atlantis would in future have a king. That was the will of Sa'at. Luckily, they were stopped. I've got to find Queen Rhea. Listen, Seth. There's a handful of us who've suspected the sons of the Golden Ray were plotting once again. Will you join us? I'm warning you, it could be very dangerous. Yes, I'll join you. Good. We're meeting in half an hour at the Scarlet Cockerel. It's a drinking house, in the village, beside the palace. I don't think the guards will let me out. Hmm. It's true, you haven't made too many friends around here. Take this. There's a secret way out, which leads directly to the village. A secret way? Where? First, I'll have to get you past the guard round the corner. The rest is gonna be your little test, Seth. Get through the secret passage, and we'll know you're smart enough. I'll tell you this much. Feed the monarch when the daylight over Atlantis is vanquished darkness. Tell me when you're ready to go. <laughs> 